It's another Wiggy Weavy Wednesday. So this episode's actually going to be kind of short because I usually do really, really long episodes because I love to talk, if you haven't noticed. Um, but today's is very short. So today's is going to be about flexi rods. Flexi rods are also called bendy rods or just rods. They come in a variety of sizes and colors, and usually the color dictates the size, but brand to brand, the colors are a little different. So um, it helps to just read the measuring on the pack or get bring a ruler with you for um, reference. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with flexi rods, and that is because I found out, I used to use them all the time when I was in college, when I was first starting to do wigs, and I found that like even though you could curl really well with them, sometimes it's a bit uneven. And especially on a synthetic wig, if you bend the rod, like you twist the rod, instead of just bending it in half, you twist it, your curl will come out like shaped into that pattern the way you the way you shaped your rod. So that took a little experimenting, so I figured out that if I just bend the top of my rod down and tighten it really good, it's fine. Second, I find that they wouldn't really steam very well, especially with a synthetic wig, I couldn't really get them to steam evenly. When I'm doing a roller set with normal rollers, I'll start in the top front and I'll roll back and across the sides. Now with flexi rods, I do the opposite. I start in the back and I do row by row with the flexi rods and I do it that way so that when it's done, it looks like this. See how they're all going down in the same direction and they're all laying on top of each other. You can also see what I was talking about, about folding them over just on the top. So then that way the bottom will hang down and you get a nice, you still get a really tight curl because you have the top. Now, when you go to steam these things, I realized the best way to steam them and get an even steam is to steam them as you set them. So what I'll do is I'll do the bottom row, I'll steam it. I'll do the row above it, I'll steam it. I'll do the next row, I'll steam it and so on and so on and so on. And then when you're done, you're fully steamed. You And then usually if I wanted to get a little tighter bit of a steam, I would put it in a plastic bag and steam it again. Also do what I did up here. As you can see, these are rods, but then you can see that these are rollers. You just take two rollers and you masking tape them or even painters tape them together like that. And then you have a double roller. I really like flexi rods for, or a rod set for something that's going to be like a ringlet kind of curl or something that's really, 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 really long because you can spiral up the rod and you're fine. Now this is, um, this is one of my signature wigs. It's called Candy Ginger. She um, ends up looking like this. Pretty cool. Or I have also like restyled them and made them a little more elaborate and made them look like this. So this is what she starts out like. I just took a white wig, added some pink hair into it, and then sharpied black roots into the front and sharpied some pink highlights into the top. And then when she's all done, she comes out looking fierce. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching today. Sorry it was such a short little video, but I figured... It was a useful tip nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out my eBay store and like me on Facebook. So until next time, happy wigging. Bye, everybody.